Welcome back to AM Northwest. You know, when kids lash out, it can be difficult to know how to respond as a parent. Here with his always helpful tips, we welcome back the author of Staying Connected with Your Teen, Family Therapist, Ishai Busi. Good to see you again. Great to be here. Um, I mean, kids do lash out. That's just part of being a kid, right? Yeah. Give me an example of, of what you consider a kid lashing out. Okay, so, and we can do all ages. So okay. a younger kid version would be, um, you can't have your dessert until you put your food away okay. or something like that. And then they say, that's not fair, no. And then they yell and they raise their voice and maybe they throw something on the floor, something like that. Okay. An older kid, it could involve swearing, it can involve getting big, it can be saying like, I hate you, um, or, oh, yeah, or even worst, destroying right? property yeah. that feels, they're, they're bigger than us sometimes if we're talking about a teenager and they right. can be really mean. And so that's kind of what I'm talking about. These things do happen um, with kids of all ages. They lose control. They say and do things that are really intense and overwhelming. And meant to hurt. If you, if you talk about a teenager, I hate you, that kind of thing. So you say one of the first things to do is regulate. Is that regulate yourself? Yeah, yeah. So I have a few, three steps to okay. manage that. Because we, we sometimes inadvertently make it worse. And we've True. all done it. Yeah. And so this really, th we need to think about how do we reduce it and make it better over time and so being really intentional so the first thing first thing is regulate what that means is we need to focus on being calm ourselves first and then we can calm the situation that's more important than anything else we can get caught up in well these are the rules or if you do this then this and we we talk too much too soon oh, and it point. escalates it it makes yeah. it worse we yeah. start to threaten consequences or try to reason with them so regulate first get calm calm yourself, that's gonna help them settle down if we're settled. But that's gotta be the most challenging thing because in the moment your kid says, I hate you, slams the door, yeah. whew. It can feel personal, it can yeah. hurt our feelings, absolutely. And, and, and that might happen and that's okay. Still, I need to get calm first. They're in their room, maybe they're, they slam their door, they, right. it's stung, I need to take slow deep breaths, that can help. And remember, it is not personal, it's not per we're talking about this because it's a universal parental experience. Right, right. At some point, we've all had a kid who has had a moment like that. Yeah. It's not about we're bad parents or we even necessarily did something to justify that. So okay. it's not personal, it's not about me, they need help getting calm and regulated. This isn't m about me, it's not personal, okay. calm down. Regulate yourself. Regulate then first. Then relate. Th only then, once we are calm, that will help them get calm. Giving them some space to also regulate, so sometimes that takes five, 10, 15, maybe 30 minutes, they will settle down as long as we're not like kind of staying engaged. O now, where everyone's calm, now relate to them, to their experience. So if you're really angry at me and you're escalated and, and stressed out and I'm calm, then to help you get calm, I'm gonna relate to you a little bit. Tell me what you're upset about. What are you feeling right now? It seems like you're really, they'll say, I don't know, but you can say, it seems like you're really mad. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like it's unfair that, um, you know, you didn't get to have dessert and you were really looking forward to this dessert? Is that why you're really mad? Do you think I'm really mean? Do you think, um, I, am I, do I not understand something? What yeah. am I missing? What do you think I don't get? So that's, relate, what are, you, what are they feeling? You seem just really like, you hate me right now. You're really yeah. angry at me, aren't you? Yeah, I'm really angry at you. So meet them where they are. And that's what relating is. It's not about being right. They're gonna say things that are not true. Right. Right? Like, you never give me dessert. You haven't let me have dessert all month. Right? You it's did like, that really well. Oh, I'm really yeah. sorry. <laughs> Someone's relating to that. Okay. <laughs> I'm really sorry I haven't had dessert all month. That's yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, reason. So now they feel heard. And this is true in a work setting. This is true oh, with true. friends, yeah. right? Like when we feel heard, related to, like you get me, you get what I'm saying, you don't have to agree. Right. Now I'm gonna settle down. So now they're calm, hopefully. Um, they're more likely to be calm and settled down. Now their thinking logic brain is open for business. Yeah. So now we can start to reason, the third step. Reasoning is, let's talk about what happened. And let's talk about how we can handle this differently in the future. Let's talk about um, how I was feeling. Now right. you might be able to hear me out a little bit more, right? Because you can actually think things through. Right. You can think about your actions a little bit more because you can think things through. And then we, there might need to be some natural consequences. We might need to think about what kind of desserts we have in the house or like 
when you get aggressive, when you swear or cuss, we might need to do something, some modified expectations here with how we talk, deal with the phones or video game time or curfews or something yeah. like that to make it better because you're really struggling. Or maybe we need to take some things off your plate or yeah. we need to spend more time. All of that happens at the end, that logic, that reasoning part of it. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Ishai, great advice. Thank you very much. Good to be here. We, we want to tell everyone again, the book is titled Staying Connected with Your Teen. Ishai Lucy, thank you so much. Great to be here. All right, we'll be right back with more AM Northwest. Don't go away.